Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do, and uh, got some more news for you today. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Try to keep the video a little bit shorter for you guys. Um, today we've got uh, Larva Labs doing something really cool on the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, if you're uh, into collectibles, um, this is for you. You, this is the first uh, collectible of sorts um, on the Ethereum blockchain, um, which is really cool. Essentially, they have uh, created uh, little figures that you can purchase on the blockchain. Um, you own it for life, essentially. Uh, and, uh, of course, you can trade them and sell them. Um, will they increase in value? I don't know. But um, they're only like 11 cents. So just like go buy one for fun to learn. Um, again, it's a Larva Labs if you want to look it up. And uh, so you basically, uh, you, it's randomly generated little cartoon characters essentially. Um, generated by a computer. And uh, you can actually pick out the one you want. Uh, you could go to the marketplace and buy one that you want. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, just a really, really cool concept. I think it's fantastic. I think that um, it's proof of concept of, uh, you know, digital assets being tracked on a blockchain, not being able to be replicated, things like that. Uh, right now, that's a very centralized concept, and it could be abused. A lot of people do buy, uh, you know, digital items. But the question is, is... Uh, the people who have it centralized, are they creating more than actually should exist? Um, and sometimes they don't actually give the actual count of how many exist. And so um, this is actually going to make it full transparency. It's on the Ethereum blockchain, and uh, which is really cool. And it sounds like they're going to be doing a token sometime in the future too. So keep an eye out for that. Um, what they're doing is really cool um, and really forward thinking. Uh, Bancor today, uh, ICO. Uh, insane 140 million I guess that's what happens when you don't set a cap and you just let the money roll in and uh, there was a DDoS attack during uh, during the hour of the ICO and essentially what happened uh, is that because of the, the attack uh, everything got bogged down and they decided to extend it for three hours so everyone had three hours to go ahead and make their investments and uh, 140 million guys this is kind of starting to get extremely ridiculous people are donating money this is this is donations people are doing this is at this point these aren't investments when it's that much um, I feel sorry for everyone that's in it because that's that's way that's way too many way too much money into one thing um, it, you know I don't know why there's that much money pouring into these things um, there needs to be some type of standard, some type of governance created for these ICOs, uh, but it's free market, and they're capitalizing on it, and uh, that's the beauty of it, I guess. You know, at this point, um, guys, we just gotta we just gotta start printing some do coins. Um, I will share the wealth if you help me do it, because we might as well just hold an ICO, uh, and uh, people will just give us money. Um, I don't know, so it's getting a little ridiculous. Just be careful out there, guys, uh, with your investments. And don't forget that every ICO is you doubling down on Ethereum. You're doubling down that one, Ethereum is successful, and two, that the ICO is successful. So um, is it worth that risk, or is it worth it just to hold on to your Ethereum, knowing that if the app works out, it actually ends up making Ethereum more valuable as well. So um, just think about it. There are some good opportunities. I, I don't want to say that there's not great ICOs out there. Um, there's quite a few, but um, just be careful. Be careful out there. Um, in other news, uh, Ethereum has passed Bitcoin in uh, daily transactions, and uh, that's a historic moment. It, really historic. I think we all need to take a moment and really let that sink in as far as uh, essentially Ethereum is officially uh, used more than Bitcoin every day. And... Um, you have to start asking yourself, why is it not more valuable then? If it's used more, it seems like it has more usage. I think we're starting to see that in the crazy price increases. Um, I had somebody um, in my last video ask me, you know, why why is Bitcoin down and things like that. 
guys, uh, this is a, this it's happening. Just get used to it. S let your mind sink in that uh, Bitcoin won't remain king forever. Um, it, Ethereum is making a very quick approach to taking over its uh, it, taking over the number one spot, and so be uh, be aware of that. Um, you know, some people say that Bitcoin is undervalued. If that's the case, then Ethereum is super undervalued. You should be buying it like crazy. Um, maybe Bitcoin is overvalued, and Bitcoin's coming back down to what it should be, and Ethereum is moving up to meet it somewhere in the middle. Um, I don't really know, but what I do know is typically things uh, that are used more than others uh, tend to increase its value. Or, um, it's just common supply and demand. Uh, officially, people are demanding Ethereum transactions more than um, than Bitcoin. And uh, nothing against Bitcoin here on this channel. I know that a lot of people are hardcore Ethereum and uh, many other coins that are out there as well. And uh, I, I have a lot of different um, technologies and blockchains that interest me and I'm big fans of and I'm rooting for. Um, and I have all the respect in the world for Bitcoin, so don't get me wrong, guys. But um, you've got to have a fresh perspective. Uh, even you Ethereum holders, wake up. Wake up a little bit and know that there is technology even better than Ethereum being developed right now. And maybe you haven't heard of it yet because you're new to the space. Maybe you just haven't found it or discovered it. But there are other projects out there that are fantastic. And um, it's important that you learn about them. Yeah, because it's fantastic opportunities. Um, with that being said, though, um, Ethereum is definitely headed in the right direction, and it's really exciting. So um, that's my take on what's going on with uh, the the uh, Bitcoin increase and decrease in pricing. Last, um, just a public service announcement, really. Um, if you have a Jax wallet um, or a free wallet, um, as it's known as, as free wallet is a brand, uh, not many people have that one, um, but a lot of people have jacks. Um, reports are pouring all over the internet of uh, wallets being hacked, um, and uh, there's some official statements and things like that are starting to come out about it. So you're, you're going to want to uh, maybe find a new wallet. Um, I do have a link to one down below called Exodus. Um, and uh, it's a free wallet as well, so you just sign up, um, and maybe it's time to move your move your funds over to something uh, maybe more secure than Jax at the moment. Um, and uh, just be safe out there. Uh, always back up and all that fun stuff, guys. Uh, make sure that you have your uh, your files backed up. Get them on some USBs. Put them in your safe. Put them somewhere secret. Um, you know, the safe isn't always the best place either. I've had a safe stolen before, and it's straight up, they just walk out with a safe, like, you know, that's the last thing you need, right? So, um, maybe set up a dummy safe that actually has nothing in it, and can keep your real safe somewhere else, uh, who knows, uh, just some security tips there. Um, and so that that's really it, um, I'm really, really excited about where we're headed right now, um, uh, Ethereum price-wise, obviously, um, trying to stack my, my, my Ether. Um, right now, um, I'm working on some uh, new machines. I've been helping some friends with machines. I'm, um, I'm all over the place with this right now. Um, it's basically taken up every last second of my free time. But the news is super important to me, and I'll keep bringing it. So if you like this news, make sure you subscribe. It means the world to me. Um, when you guys come on board and support, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, go ahead and share with a friend. Um, about how awesome Ethereum is, um, and uh, any of the blockchains that you like. Um, I know, obviously, on this channel, uh, we talk about Ethereum a lot because it's making some big waves um, and always seems to have something new happening. But um, anyone who's been around knows I talk about a lot of different coins. I like researching different ones and getting to know them. And uh, I'm learning a lot about, about it from you guys. So leave a comment below if you have something that you want me to check out or learn about. I always, I always check those out. I'll try to answer any questions as well. And as always, uh, sign up for Steemit if you haven't. There's a link down below. Make sure you sign up for Steemit. It's an amazing site. And uh, if you're already on Steemit, I appreciate the upvotes so much. Um, you guys have no idea. It's amazing. 
Guys, Steam is amazing. You guys know that all of, I'm, I'm able to, uh, well, first of all, you know, Steam in and of itself is a, is kind of like a crypto investment kind of thing, but being able to, like, actually go out um, and use that to support the channel and things like that is pretty amazing. So, um, not to mention uh, getting uh, uh, just more cryptos. Um, being able to use some of that um, in my hobby is fantastic. Uh, it's an amazing site. Um, so go over there and check it out. You actually earn Steam as well just for upvoting, which is incredible. So if you go upvote mine, you'll get some Steam as well. And uh, while giving Steam, it's an, it's an amazing concept. So uh, make sure you guys go check that out. And uh, until next time, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.